Are you as obsessed with sriracha sauce as much as we are? You may be surprised to know that this sauce has some hidden secrets that will probably make you love it even more. So it's time to spice things up and take a look at the top 10 untold truths about sriracha sauce. Girl, you got a body like sriracha. You're probably pronouncing the name wrong. Not sriracha or sriracha, no. It's easy to see why someone could be saying the name wrong of this super popular sauce for most of their lives. The way it's spelled does not make it easy to pronounce it the correct way. It's one of those words that is not spelled how it is pronounced. So here it is. The proper pronunciation is sriracha. This is shocking seeing as it's normally said as sriracha. This is not the first nor the last product that will be pronounced incorrectly. However, one would assume that more people would know this little tidbit. This sauce is so loved has made millions of dollars and has been recreated time and time again. So why in the world have we all not realized we have been saying it incorrectly? The problem is, with the Thai dialect, the letter I is actually pronounced as an E. Obviously, this makes a lot of sense and explains just why we have been butchering the name of this spicy sauce for decades. Sriracha. Feeling the heat yet? Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. <laughs> join that club. It's originally from Thailand. Oh, how exotic. The original sriracha sauce is actually an invention out of Thailand. It was originated by a woman named Thanam Chakapak, who was looking to make a sauce that was great for seafood. The sauce was such a hit with her family and friends that they encouraged her to market it. It was an instant hit in the town and then eventually throughout the country. She called her sauce Siraja Panich, named after her community of Siracha. This was way back in the 1930s, and the sauce is still used today all over Thailand, and it's much loved. So loved that Thai people that have had the opportunity to try the American sriracha normally say they hate it. Some have even been quoted saying that the American version is way too hot and alien to their taste buds. This just goes to show you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This got us thinking, how would we react if we tried the original sriracha sauce? Would we be just as obsessed? Or would we be scraping it off our tongues as quickly as possible? The Thai version of the sauce is popular on fish, fried foods, seafood, and wok fried egg. If you watch a lot of food videos on Instagram, you are bound to see one of these meals being made and the Thai sriracha sauce generously being poured on top. Mm, you're making me hungry. The ingredients may kill you eventually. It'll kill you eventually. The Thai version of this insanely popular sauce tastes so different because of what is used to make it. Everything is fresh and healthy, and even the process it goes through to produce it is so different. It's made with garlic, prik chi fa peppers, vinegar, sugar, and salt, which is fermented in casks for at least three months before being bottled. Because of this process, the sauce is runnier. The American version, however, is way different. In addition to it being excessively spicy, it's made with MSG, preservatives, and thickeners. This isn't different from any other other Asian-inspired sauces you see on the shelf of American grocery stores. However, it has recently been speculated that too much American sriracha sauce can kill you. The sauce has 1 gram of sugar and 100 milligrams of sodium per teaspoon. Clearly, this is a lot. If you stick to the recommended amount, you should be good, but we all know that one person who smothers their food in sriracha. Watch out for that person, they could be essentially overdosing on their favorite hot sauce. Of course, there are naysayers to this theory, but common sense tells us it's not good to ingest any hot sauce in large quantities. That, that can't be good for you. Yeah. There is a sriracha cookbook. But what am I gonna do with my sriracha? This was bound to happen. The popularity that this sauce boasts is almost like no other, so a cookbook teaching people how else they could possibly utilize their sriracha is genius. The book is titled The Sriracha Cookbook, 50 Rooster Sauce Recipes That Pack a Punch, and was released in 2011. There was even a vegan vegetarian companion cookbook, and that also flew off the shelf. Some of the recipes in the book included an ultimate sriracha burger, fire roasted corn, honey sriracha glazed buffalo wings, and watermelon sriracha sangria. Really, everything just sounds super, super tasty. The magazine Bon Appetit even cashed in by dedicating almost an entire issue to the hot sauce. They came up with 25 recipes featured in their magazine, all based around the fiery red sauce. One of their more popular ones was sriracha fried chicken. You really can't go wrong with a fried chicken recipe. It's safe to assume that this issue did really well in stores and online. We aren't sure why, but people are always looking for more things they can add sriracha sauce to. Next thing you know, we'll be eating old boots slathered in this thick hot sauce. Of course, all you will taste is the spiciness from the sauce. That's
I say make the ball! Sriracha documentary? Yes, it is true. I am filming a documentary about Sriracha. A documentary about Sriracha sauce was made on the backs of fans. Back in 2013-ish, a Kickstarter was started by a few passionate people who really thought it was necessary to get this documentary made. In 2014, Griffin Hammond premiered his short doc at the New York Film Food Festival. So maybe you're thinking, who would give money to a Kickstarter like this? Well, 1,315 people donated, and Hammond, the director, made $21,009. To be honest, we're a little surprised that it didn't get more backing, and it could be due to the lack of publicity. Nonetheless, a documentary film came out of it. The film focused on where the sauce originated, who made it, and how it made its way over to the U.S. The documentary is only about 30 minutes, but if you think about it, there is room to grow. With the history that Sriracha has, it certainly cannot be summed up in one 30-minute documentary. Maybe Hammond will consider making a full-length feature film. Hammond even kind of paid back his Kickstarter backers by giving them a private screening, even allowing them to see the film before it even went to the festival. Is there any better feeling than cutting in line because a plastic bag says you're special? Sriracha sauce available in packets. I'll trade you two packets of hot sauce for a fortune cookie. There's nothing better than having one of your favorite condiments at the tip of your fingers whenever you need it. Sriracha had the brilliant idea of making small condiment packages of their tasty sauce, and keychain-sized sriracha packages that can attach to your bundle of keys. Why do this? Simple. People love the sauce, and people love miniature sizes of things. In addition, before these smaller versions of the sauce, people were carrying around full bottles of sriracha sauce. Not only is that daunting, but it's freaking heavy. We would love to meet the person who finally had that accident where all the sriracha spilled in their purse and ruined everything. The packets came at the perfect time and sriracha made them available to the public so you don't have to be at a fast food place or dining establishment to buy them. You can purchase your own box of packets and drop as many as you would like in your lunch bag. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. Swag. Keep in mind though, you might be getting coworkers hitting you up for an extra packet or flat out stealing them off your desk. This sauce will make people do crazy things. Did you forget the sriracha sauce? <gasps> How much sriracha sauce is produced in one hour? I don't know. We know that this sauce is really popular. Maybe even too popular. After all, it is just a hot sauce in a sea of hot sauces. But either way, supply and demand are working at its finest. It was reported that 3,000 bottles of the sauce is made every hour at the Huifong factory in California. And the machines run around the clock, making about 200 tons every week. That equals about 20 million bottles of this stuff being produced every year. With all this production, why is this sauce always sold out? Does that make any sense? at all, there are a lot of other versions of sriracha sauce on the shelves. But the Huifong brand is the one that tops the list by far. We can only assume that other brands are not producing as much as the Huifong brand is. We can also assume that they don't provide their loyal customers with keychain size or packets of their sauce to take on the go. It takes a special brand to go above and beyond like that. Unfortunately for founder David Tran, he did not trademark the name or anything else to do with this sauce. This is why there are so many different brands that are able to make their own version of sriracha but he still has the number one sauce, so it's not that big of a deal. No biggie. <laughs> Huifong Sriracha doesn't advertise. What? I've never seen a commercial for Huifong Sriracha, have you? The company apparently made it a priority to not have any advertisements for their sauce. They have also never explained why. So how did the bright red sauce become so popular without any advertisements? We have to assume word of mouth played a big part here. How else would people know about the sauce? Before it was popular, it sat on shelves and blended in with every other sauce in the aisle. But now, it's the one that stands out, the one that people seek out. Out. David Tran stated that they have not put one cent into advertising, and they have no plans on doing so in the future. Yet each year, sales of the sauce go up by 20%, so clearly the brand is doing something right. Tron never felt the need to advertise probably because, in the beginning, he had a set clientele. Tron maybe never assumed his sauce would make it into actual stores, let alone be as popular and bold as it has become. Sir Cha Cha Hot Sauce! <laughs> Tron used to bottle the sauce himself. Fine. I'll do it myself. Tron created the sauce in 1980, and it was the smallest operation possible. He would make it in his home and deliver it himself all over Chinatown. He cruised around in a blue Chevy van and literally went from shop to shop delivering his sauce. At the time, the sauce was in a glass bottle that Tron filled by himself with spoons in his home. Now that is determination. It's hard work like that that has gotten him this far with his version of sriracha. We can only assume that a man who endured a hard boat ride over to the U.S. would have this much determination. He funneled 
his energy into making a sauce that, to be honest, has to be one of the most well-known sauces around the world. We can only assume this is why Tron did not need to advertise. He had his whole community buying this sauce from him, using it in their food, probably putting it out on tables so people could add more if need be. From there, we can assume that it just started getting more and more popular. During that Sriracha documentary we mentioned, Tron stated that he never really set out to have a business this big, but we have to wonder, does anybody? Wasn't expecting that. Or was I? Tron makes more than Sriracha. But wait! There's more! Tron's Sriracha sauce is by far his most famous sauce. But did you know the Huifong brand makes other sauces that are probably just as tasty? Two to be exact. The first one is a Sambal Olek. This sauce is made with the same chili as Sriracha, but has more of that chili flavor with a pungent, hotter taste. It is also described as healthier because it has way less sugar than sriracha, and it's more flavorful. The second sauce Hui Fong makes is Sambal Olek with garlic. This sauce has the proper combination of garlic and chili. Because of the combination, they describe it as a chili garlic sauce. It is also healthier and more versatile. It apparently tastes good with just about everything. These sauces are less popular than their sister sauce, but we have to say they sound tastier than sriracha. They sound like a sauce that would actually add flavor to your food as opposed to just a spicy afterbite. From looking at the ingredients and the texture, we also came to the conclusion that both versions of Sambalo Lek would make for a great marinade on just about any protein or vegetables. Sriracha sauce has swept the nation. For the last decade or so, this thick, red, hot sauce has changed the flavor of many a meal around the world. It's used as a condiment, a marinade, and even a challenge. Yes, some fool devoured three bottles of the hot sauce on YouTube, then immediately ran to his washroom before he could even turn the camera off. This should be a testament to just how obsessed our society has become with the Hui Fong brand of Sriracha. It's an obsession, really. How about you become a little obsessed with us, too? Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And stay right here and click on another one of our great videos.